Guys, I've actually gone through hell trying to get this to work because I haven't used my phone or actually recorded anything in real life for a very long time now. Now, I made a video on the GRA and how all of this GRA certification is made by, um, you know, companies in the Chinese to make it feel like it's legitimate, right? But none of these reports are sort of a... Uh, I guess legitimate to sort of speak, right? Because if you watch some videos, you heard of GIA and the GRA looks exactly the same as, I mean, the GRA looks exactly the same as the GIA. And, you know, some of the jewelers were making fun of them. So anyways, I've done some digging and basically nobody knows this place, right? I mean, this GRA place I think is made up and I made the video explaining why I think it's made up. And I actually have certification for a jade uh, bracelet I bought for my mom. And I'm looking at that and that looks fake too, right? And I tested the jade. I think it's fake. I mean, it's definitely not real jade. I bought it for five bucks, so it can't be real. So anyways, I got this ring too. And this ring is definitely not real either. Now, um, I don't wanna talk about how it's magnetic and everything, but it is. I mean, it's hard to tell from there you go. So this thing is fake. I bought it for $2. So, you know, it's hard to say, hey, you're going to get real gold. You're going to get real stuff for really cheap, right? But I'm not saying the moissanite is not real. I'm just saying the certificate is sort of like fake, right? I mean, if I made up my own company and I named it G, I don't know, W-A, right? G-W-A. And then I say, it says Moissanite Report, and then I could name it anything I want, right? But basically, you know, the grading, I like, it's, it's, I don't know who's grading it, basically, right? This thing, I mean, it, it may be correct, but, you know, you don't know who's grading it. So anyways, this is what this thing looks like, and I'm not going to go over too much on it. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to test the Moissanite to see if it's real. Now, I have a scale here. This one, I, I don't think I'm going to do because uh, this thing is not, Moissanite is not graded on carats. It's graded by size, right? So it's like 6.5 mm is the same as a one carat diamond. So I have this diamond tester here. And you're probably looking at this thinking, ah, oh, you know, this, this is like one of those cheap diamond testers, right? But basically, if it's a Moissanite, it will pass, right? It will always pass. Now... There is no such thing as this coating to make it like, you know, glass like moissanite. And you see, this one is the, actually the official one because this one, you may see people use it, right? But their name is different. This is actually the one that is official and is made in Japan. And this is the original, which means this one is more reliable than the other ones. Now there's other ones out there more expensive ones. I'm not going to worry about it, but I got this. I think this is, is this one, right? I paid between five to $10 for each of them. Just say, okay. And I mean, I have a larger one that is $20. So, you know, I got it for a super cheap, but look at that. I mean, it looks good. Everything about it. I don't have a tweezers with me, but I kind of wish they, they gave me like one of those things that that other guy gave me. But I don't know, I don't remember who I bought this from, but all of them I got for really cheap for around like, you know, like I was saying, five to $10. Now the one carat I got for definitely around five to $10. So this one, wow, it actually looks really good, right? Let me see if I could bring it up. But this is the, yeah, it looks beautiful. But anyways, it's gonna fall off. So I'm not gonna worry about that. What I'm gonna do is let me push that in there. And we're gonna do this. My room temperature is 10 to so 10 to 30. So I'm gonna set it at two. And there you go. There's two bars. Whoops. Whoops, my bad. Two bars. And basically, we're gonna test this thing when this thing says okay. Right now it doesn't say the lamp is okay. Let me switch it back to two. There you go. So lamp is not ready yet, which means I shouldn't be doing it, but I'm going to wait. It. All right. So there it is. It's ready. Let's see if this works. Whoops. You know what? I'm going to have to hold it. It's not going to work like this. All right. Here we go.
I don't know, it's in red. It's not passing. Maybe I need something else to hold it. Maybe my hands is not good enough. I don't know. I mean, it's barely going there. All right, I don't know. I mean, it's barely going there, but I'm holding it with my fingers, which obviously is not good. But if I push this thing, it's gonna go down, 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 down. So let me try this again. I don't know, I feel like my hands is making a difference. But let me go here. This is supposed to be 0 0.6 carat and up, right? All right, so anyways, I don't, let, let's try the other ones first then. So this one, I don't know where it is or what it's at, but you know, obviously it didn't pass. Unfortunately, maybe I did it wrong. But this has the same card and everything. This one's a big one. This one I paid $20 for. So, you know, obviously this one's more expensive, right? This is 2.5 carats. And actually the one carat, how do I open this? The one carat's very bad. So I actually got a pair of tweezers. Now, this actually, it passed. It's just that I would, you know, I, I was holding it, right? But anyways, let me try to get it in here so it's easier for me because the problem is I was holding it. I think that was the problem. But anyways, let's do it this way. So it's pushed against something. There you go. It passed. So there, there's this one that passed. And then, of course, there's a 2.5 carat. And we're going to look at this one, too. And this one's easier. They gave me a stupid... Well, not stupid. They gave me a good box, right? Look at that. Because I'm pushing it down. And then this thing is going down on it, too. So you got real moissanite here and there. This one I got for 20 something dollars. My most expensive one. Actually, that, that one was 20 something. I think it was 25, right? And now we're talking about Canadian. So it's much cheaper in the US. Now this one is the pink one. And the reason why I got pink moissanite is because the pink moissanite supposedly is more expensive and it's highly collectible to me. I mean, obviously if you give it to your girlfriend or something, it's much better to be pink. And most of the times, Things are kind of worth more with the pink color, right? But anyway, I kind of screwed up there. How am I going to get this thing back into... Whoa! All right, so that fell off. That was a bad thing. Maybe I should get another one then. So there's no hole there, which means... Uh, there's no hole there, right? All right, so... Why is this thing at three? Let's go back to two. All right, so we're going to test this one. And here it goes. There you go. So the problem was if I held it, right, it didn't work. So if you didn't hold it, right, like this, if, it, if it's pushed against something, so you could actually ma use maximum force, because if you're not, look at this thing. Come on. See, there it goes. It works. Um, now I'm gonna test it out on my ring just to prove that, you know, on fake stuff, it doesn't work. And let's see if this ring goes. See, it's not going anywhere. Nowhere at all. These two, see, they're just making a sound because it's touching the metal. But if you hit on that, nothing is happening. But if you hit on the metal, see, it'll make a sound on the metal. But on this, this thing there, so it's not even moving. So anyways, uh, that is real, and I think I paid either $10 or $5 for this one. This one was $20. That one was $25. So, really good thing. I've actually gotten a few more moissanites, right? And I got this moissanite earring here. And let's take this off. I don't know how I'm going to test this because, again, I'm going to have to hold it. And usually when you hold it, it doesn't work. Right, there's this card here right and if you go to this website here that's the funny thing um this is going to go to gramoisonite.cn you see how it's different here this one is association.com and this one doesn't even have uh the website but if you go there it goes to some gem authority something something majig 
But these two cards looks much more fancy than this card. Look, this is there's gloss here. Look at that. That that is gloss, man. So you know, there's multiple things, and they're all real to sort of speak, right? But not exactly in the sense of the organization is real, right? The GRA organization. The company, I mean, whoever is evaluating it just made a website, input the GRA number so that they can easily find it. And I just got the earrings out. And here is one of them. So I was planning to pierce my ear and you know, I was gonna just wear one. Supposedly this is sterling silver. And I don't know if I trust the sterling silver in here. I acid tested this coin and look what happened here. So if I acid test this, this thing better turn white. All right, so here is the earring and it, it looks actually much better on the iPhone, on the iPhone, right? These actually looks much better on the iPhone than in real life, to be honest. I mean, usually it's the opposite, right? Actually, no, if I had, if I put it directly in front of my eyes, it's mesmerizing. I mean, it looks exactly like the iPhone, my bad. So, you know, it has to go directly in front of your eyes. If it's on the side, then, you know. All right, so we have my earrings here and I'm holding it, which is a bad thing, but I'm not holding exactly. It's held by this silver here. So it passed. Now, like I was saying, you know, I'm holding it. Maybe that's why it's not going up the full bar. If I'm not holding it, let's see what happens here. See, it goes extremely to the full bar if I'm not holding it. I'm guessing my uh, hands has some sort of temperature that is passed on, right? So anyways, they all pass. And I think I got in the, these, there's actually two earrings. So I got in that for $20 as well. Right, so I tried looking at for the number uh, through this loop, right? This is only 60X and it's actually pretty painful to look at it. I couldn't find anything but I kept spinning it. You know, it wasn't big enough, so it's pretty hard to look for. I tried spinning the earrings and I couldn't find the numbers on there either. Maybe I need a 200X loop. I mean, right now I'm, I'm not seeing anything and you know, everything seems to check out. So, you know, this thing is the most important one and I'm happy with it. Even if there's no number, that's actually better. I think that's better because why would you want a number? I mean, I already said the cards are all made up, so you know, why would you even care if there's a number? Because if nobody if nobody can see if there's a number, right? Then obviously, uh, you know, from a distance, they'll think it's a real diamond. But anyways, I mean, moissanite is moissanite, diamonds are diamonds, just saying. I couldn't find the numbers on these two. Uh, I haven't checked those two. Because using this thing is super hard. And I haven't looked at all of these things, but like I was saying, we have three different websites. So does it really matter? Right, I mean, even they graded it as color D, VSS1, I mean, and then you have excellent cut. I mean, all these things can be made up, right? I mean, sure, uh, they can grade it that way, but how do you know that's how it's graded in the US, right? Or in North America, I don't know. But anyways, so far I'm happy with the Moissanite. I mean, it passed, that's all I actually care about. Now the GRA is good to look at, but I'm not gonna take it seriously. And like I was saying, I tried using a loop, couldn't find the numbers. Uh, I have more coming in. And like I was saying, I got this where like, it was either $5, $6 or $9 or $10, somewhere around there. This I got for $20, this is supposedly sterling silver. And I have to look for the 925 to see if that's real. And then that one I got for $20. So the pink one is usually expensive. This one, I'm not gonna get again. I think the best size, if you're looking for a size ring, I think if you're gonna give to somebody, I think uh, 2.5 is good. You can actually go up to three carats, right? But anything beyond three carats, it just looks fake. 